Hi guys, welcome back to Wildly Wandering. You join us today as we're about to take you on a tour of Deep Palm Island. Here we are, we're just about to board one of the little tenders that takes you over from the entrance to the island itself. So the island itself is about a 15 minute drive from the cruise port of Aranyastat. You get on these little tenders that take you out to the island where pretty much everything is all inclusive for the day. As we get off the boat, what you'll see on the right hand side is the little shop. So there you can buy things like um, reef t-shirts or sand shoes, sea shoes. And then up to your left as well, you get the massage area, which if you want something like a private massage or something, that would be really nice. And here is our private cabana. So we've gone right to the end of the island to one of the beach cabanas. So these start at $369, and what you've got is an all-inclusive premium experience for the day. So as you walk in, you've got your own table, you've got a fridge. Fridge is pre-stashed with Prosecco and water, which is nice. You've got your own speaker in your cabana. You can adjust the volume as well, so there's always music going throughout the day. A lockable cabinet at the top with towels. And then there you are, you can see our seating area. We'll see if we wanted to, we could pick those lounges up. You've got ice bucket in there and a bin. So we got the cabana right at the end of the island, but this is right in the flamingo area. So you can see this uh, fence to the left hand side, that's meant to stop people going past that line. Um, but what you'll find is there are some occasions where um, they're allowing people to cross those to get closer um, pictures with the flamingos, although that's not something that we did. The wildlife on the island's fantastic. You can see there's a crab. Just a little bit of information about the island. So as I mentioned, it's 15 minutes by transfer from the main sort of capital city, if you like, of Aruba. You then get on these little boats, which take about five minutes, if that, and take you out to your island for the day. If you're coming by cruise ship then they'll encourage you to book your trip through the cruise company which is completely understandable to make sure you get back on board on time. But we were really lucky this day there was the island was very quiet not many people around and especially in this area at the end which is really worth it if you want that kind of extra VIP experience for the day. So as part of the VIP experience, what you also get is a concierge service. They're always coming around making sure that you're happy, making sure that you've got enough drinks. So now walking back to the main kind of entrance, if you like, into the private area. But what you can also see here is, again, how many cabanas there are. So there's about four in this beach area and shared between two cabanas is a little waterfall shower. To show that you're a VIP customer or that you have access to one of these cabanas, you also get that premium area band as well that you can wear. The swimming in this little private cove as well was really nice, very smooth sea, which as we move on to the snorkeling in a bit, you'll see is quite different to what the island offers kind of outside of those protected cove areas. So we're now going to walk out back towards the main entrance. There you can see a the premium seating viewing area of the flamingos. So you just go through this little gate. So we're walking back towards the main entrance and where kind of the rest of the activities are on the island. So these are just your standard seats that are completely free for anyone to get to. You've got things like hair braiding and stuff on the left there. and the entrance to the water slides. 
they've really tried to make the island look pretty um, and quite tropical which is really nice the island is also amazingly clean there's bins everywhere and there's always people walking around making sure that the place is tidy What you can see there as well, just on the right hand, the top right hand corner of the screen that we just moved away from, is the main kind of communal shower area where when you've got oh, come back from the beach you can go and wash the sand off. So keeping walking forward you have the only set of toilets on the island to your left and then the main restaurant area. So as I said, everything on the island is all inclusive, so there's a food area where you can get burgers, hot dogs, chicken nuggets, that kind of thing. There's your bar as well. And walking through, you can get to the bottom of the water slides. So now we're going to turn round and walk back through the restaurant area to the other side of the island. As you can see the island's quite thin, so walk to the other side where you can see the area that you can jump off and do your snorkelling from. So despite Covid and everything that was going on at the time, you would still get flippers, a snorkel and mask provided free of charge for you to use as well, as well as a blow up life vest. They also did have other experiences going along, such as snoober um, and guided snor um, snorkeling and scuba trips. So let's jump in. While the water is clear, it is quite choppy here. Um, the day we went wasn't particularly windy, but the seas were still not as calm as I've experienced in other areas in the Caribbean that I've snorkeled. So you can see the instructor or the guide bringing a group of other guests back from their uh, guided experience. I think if you go further out as well you'll see more of the coral and more sea life. As you see we're not very far away from the island at all, we're not that far out. But what we're going to do is swim over to the right hand side of the screen which is where you get the cabanas that go straight down into the sea. So as I said there were two types. We had the beach type where you could walk straight out to the beach but there are quite a few cabanas that they've got here where you can just step off the end of your private area straight into the ocean. So we spoke about one of those cabanas where you can just step off the end of it into the sea and here is an example of one now. So as I said, these ones at the time of recording this start at $239 and you get very similar experience to the cabana that I just showed you. So you get your loungers, you get the ice bucket, you also get the fridge and the lockable storage area as well and of course that straight access into the sea. Here's kind of the kids splash zone, what's really nice is looking at the amount of support and assistance and aids that they have for disabled people which is really nice to see in a tourist area such as this. Continuing along then 
back towards the main entrance and again you can see those cabanas just a little bit of an example so the beds the towels the prosecco So where we're walking to now is the main buffet restaurant. Again, there's another one of those sea cabanas. We didn't eat in the main buffet, but what we did do was, uh, from the restaurant that we showed you earlier, grab some chicken nuggets and a burger and stuff. And the food was the sort of food that you would expect from a place like this, but actually very, very good. They're really encouraging the use of the re reusable cups as well, so you find a lot of areas for you to kind of put your cup at the end of the day to stop it going to waste. You've got some areas in direct sunlight, you've got some shaded areas, and then you've also got inside there in the main restaurant, you've got some more kind of cupboard and air conditioned areas. And I think this area at this end of the island was closed pretty much because of COVID and the you know, reduction in tourist trade but I can imagine that this would be really bustling at the end so you'd have again another eatery. And that's it, so we have now walked you from end to end of Deep Palm Island in Aruba. Despite the heat as well this wooden boardwalk actually stayed nice and cool which was great. And obviously just a reminder that on Deep Palm Island there are loads of activities that you can get involved with. And they also have the banana boat running as well that you're able to hitch a ride on. And now we've come to the end of our fantastic day on Deep Palm Island in Aruba. Really would highly recommend going here and especially if you want that little bit extra, then book yourself a cabana and get that experience. I hope that you liked the video. If you've got any questions, please comment below and we'll get back to you with the answers if we have them. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified when there's more videos and more tips for you travellers.